Hello again, YouTube. Don, once more, with Eastern CT Vapor. And today I've got you guys here for, once again, another review. This review today is on this RDA right here in my hand. This is called the Geyser by Dark Ronin, or Dark Ronin Mods. Okay, this was the first RDA dripper that I ever got. It was given to me by a family member that was into vaping. Um, I was doing the starter pens and looking for the next step, you know. Um, I was still getting cigarette quality, you know, clouds with the vape pens. Everybody has, I'm sure, tried the starter pens. Compared to sub -ohm, it's a night and day difference. And that's what I was looking for. So family members said, here, give this a shot. Um, and, and I never went back, you know, I never looked back. This started my sub -ohm, my RDAs, my rebuildables. It made me the vapor that I am today. And it is definitely an outside of the box design. We will get more into that in a little bit. What we need to do, as always, we need to take a dive down. We're going to take this thing apart, okay? I'm going to show you what it does. I don't have a packaging, unfortunately. But I will get into what the kit comes with when you purchase it. Okay, I will get you a price point where you can get it. I'm going to vape on it a little bit. I'm not going to show you how to build on it, but I'm going to put a build on it and show you the options that this comes with. Okay, before we get into any of that though, you know what we need to do. We need to hit the credits. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are with the Dark Ronin Mods, the Geyser RDA. Like I had stated, this was the first RDA I ever got. And once we open this, you will see it as a very out of outside of the box design. It's one of a kind. You don't see anything like this. But let's go over some specs and then we will get into that, okay? The design here is made of stainless steel. 304 stainless steel to be exact. The bottom here is brass. This is where you adjust your airflow. There's a hole in the adjuster. You got one smaller and smaller, largest, smaller, medium, small. Okay, and you just loosen the top cap just a little bit and you adjust it if you want it to medium or if you want it to less or you put it to medium. Tighten it back down, and there's your airflow, okay? This is a 22 millimeter RDA, okay? 510 connector. Threads are nice and smooth. No choppiness. Nice looking threads. The 510 pin. 510 pin is protruding. As you can see, this should be safe enough to use on a hybrid top cap model. I said is protruding, is an RDA, and when you see how this thing is, it's definitely a susceptible candidate for a hybrid top cap model. Let's get the cap off and see what this has to offer here. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, a four post design for quad or dual coil builds i have a quad coil build in there but before we vape on it i'm going to rebuild it to a dual coil so you can see the differences we won't be able to see the differences in vape quality unfortunately but i personally feel these quad coils are a little bit excessive it's cool to have that option again a little bit too much i've gotten a great vape off of just the dual coil but we will go into that back at FaceTime. Let's finish some specs. Okay. 
This has two solid negative posts that are milled to the deck, not welded. Okay, you can see the positive with the insulator. Insulator is made of peak. Okay, the negative posts are milled right in. They're not welded, so it's got excellent conductivity due to that. Okay, again, positive post. There's two positive, two negative. Positive post. Insulators are made of peak. This RDA is O-ringless, meaning there are no O-rings anywhere on this. Threaded top cap, that's it. No O-rings. Okay, and it's designed like that for less maintenance. As I stated, it is designed to build dual and quad coils. I have a quad build on it now. And just for the record, I'm going to get an ohm reading of what these four coils are reading. Just give me one second. With all four coils, it ohms out at 0.25 ohms. That is the resistance reading. The post holes are large 2.5 millimeter holes to fit some of the thickest wires and flat wires. You can see them there, 2.5 millimeters. And they are. And just to note it while we're talking here, you can fit larger wires in there. I have done it, but unfortunately, when you do that, you're worried, you got to worry about your clearance here for the top cap. I have been able to fit larger wires. I fit, you know, 22 gauge, 20 gauge, and I've done the build and they all fit. And then I go to put the top cap on and then that doesn't fit. So even though you, you can fit larger wires in there, it's not 100% recommended because of your clearance to the top cap. As for direct to coil air holes, you can see these just under the coils. Airflow goes in from the bottom and up straight to the coils and then up to your mouth and lungs. It does come with one wide bore black Delrin competition drip tip. I do not have, I just have the standard top cap. Unfortunately, I can't show you guys that. But I will find a picture. Let's post it right now. Okay, guys, on to the next one. It has an ingenious juice guide designed to distribute juice drops equally to the coils, which is this white piece right here in the middle. Okay, the juice guide is made of Teflon. It is extra durable and has a very high melting point. And what that's uh, designed for, I'll show you, is when you put on your top cap here, get that drip tip out when you have your top cap on here you can see down in the middle there is that juice guide so all you got to do is pop off your 510 drip tip drip 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 right down in the hole and it guides the juice to all four to whatever it guides the juice straight to your coils right down at the bottom see the way it's shaped the juice will hit that and then run down the guides on each spot straight to the wick and coils and i'm going to show you with the two coil design say i take off this and this coil we'll still have the wicks that meet up right in here or even overlap just a little bit so even if i do drip in there it'll run down to wick to wick and then straight to coil here so it does work you can even do like a single coil you just need to have cotton running around it is marketed as having a seamless side air intake in the base of the atomizer. Air holes are not noticeable, which is very true. When this is on, like I said, we adjust airflow, we'll go to the medium. And you know that, you know, owning the RDA. But there's no airflow, 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 nothing. It seeps through the guide here. And goes into the bottom to the wick and coil and straight up out of the top. There's no big holes, no, you know, cyclops slots, no regular holes. No, it's excellent design. Some um, issues that I've noticed with this big one, there's no juice well. 
it's flat deck so all you get is what you drip to your cotton there's no juice well to hold any extra juice or anything so it's kind of unfortunate in the fact that you only get to vape what your cotton holds no juice well so you're really you're dripping an awful lot but designed like that because this isn't like an all-day dripper it's not built for that it's built for a competition so at your competition you know you drip five drops and get a monster monster puff off of it and then it's time to drip again because like i said competition not and not built for an all day for cleaning purposes here while on camera i suppose i will take these coils out And now our coils are just going to fall out. And to just chuck those right into the garbage. These are all beat rotten coils. So it's time for a new one. That's why I said I'm just going to build a uh, dual coil. You can see without the coils in there, there's our airflow slots. It's going to be really hard to see, especially with how my autofocus is. But I really want to try and point this out. The posts are numbered. And I'm trying to, you can see there's a number one right in there. And on this side, you can see there's a number two right there. Over on this side here, it's, it's really hard to see it. But you can see, like I said, up close, if my autofocus wants to adjust. Let's see if I can't. You can see the one over on this side. You can see that one. You can see the two right here. They're small, but it's it, it, it's numbered to show you which, you know, this would be number one, number two, number three, and number four coils. So it's numbered so you know where to start, where to end. You know, if you're doing a dual coil, you can start at number one and number three, build, you know, one and two, you know, build a single coil here. I guess it is set up for tri-coil, which... I'm OCD, so I need it to be an even number. So, but again, it's numbered. Um, This Teflon piece, let's see if I can get it here for you guys. It does pop off like so. Whoops, don't lose that. It does pop off for cleaning. Okay, you can see the 510 pin connector straight through to the Del to the uh, excuse me, to the peak insulator, tongue tied. There's our pin goes from the bottom straight up. It secures in there. You can see the insulator. You can see the insulators running across. There are two positives. Positive one. Positive 2, negative, and negative. And this goes back in like so. And I'm also going to show you guys, I'm reviewing this one, which is the clone. I do have an authentic right here. Okay. 
you can see the difference there is air flow holes in the side um, I believe those were drilled in though these didn't come with it okay they were drilled in by somebody okay and let me open this you can see the difference for the authentic the the holes of the airflow holes are different it's got screws instead of instead of hex nuts the juice flow guide is different there's definitely differences this is the authentic one um i stripped out one of the posts hence why i got this i don't have extra phillips head screws so when i stripped one out i just couldn't find any more so i purchased myself a a clone because i really did enjoy it so i purchased myself the clone so I could still get the effect of it just at a fraction of the cost. And I just, like I says, I didn't want to review the authentic because of the fact that a post hole stripped, I can't really build on it. It's missing the airflow ring. Um, it's got extra holes dripped or drilled in it. So I felt this was closer to stock original, even though a clone, than the authentic was because there's so much modification done. And when I say this was my first RDA that got me into it, this one I purchased as a clone. I purchased it after stripping that. But the authentic here, this was given to me by a cousin of mine. Okay, she gave me this authentic and I really liked it. I kind of, you know, getting into RDAs, I thought this is what they were. I thought they were four post designs. You know, I thought that was a lot, you know, better, this whole setup. I felt I had, you know, the, the diamond in the rough kind of thing. So after doing that, I ended up purchasing this one. Um, after that, I got into some of the three post and velocity designs and realized this did have some cons in itself, which we'll do that back at FaceTime. But I think I've rambled enough here. I've gone over everything. I've gone over some specs, gone over what it does. Real quick, I'm not going to show you how to build, but I'm going to show you this with a dual coil design in it. Let me do this build and I'll be right back. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, a dual coil build. What I did was 26 gauge canthal, about eight wraps on a two millimeter bit. You can see there's clearance on both sides. This is a very comfortable build for this. And if anybody is curious how the build is done on this, just please comment, let me know, and I will make a video on how to. Because it is pretty interesting. I know this video is running long enough due to my rambling. But if anybody's interested in how the build is done, let me know. And I will do a tutorial on how to do a build. Whether you want dual or quad coil. I might even just show you guys both. Okay. But this is what she looks like. Beautiful glow from the inside out. Nice and even. Let's wick and juice this thing. I wanted to show you guys this part because this is, again, like I said, uh, this whole mod is outside of the box. Or this whole RDA is outside of the box. There's nowhere to tuck your wicks. There's no juice well to tuck it in. So I kind of thought it would be interesting to show you guys how you should do your wicks on this. Um for how tall this is let me see I'm gonna try and adjust the camera here okay now what's the best way to do this that I've always done is by taking this over here and trimming it about here And 
and same thing taking this going to oh yeah just about your positive or your other post you know your adjacent post you can see those are about even same thing over here And once these are trimmed now, you basically want to just run them around. It's going to be like so, but you need it to stick. So we're going to use our juice. Basically, I mean, and everybody has done it, use it as an adhesive. I'll be using this Juice Man Unicorn Porn. This was in my February sample box. And if anyone was interested in seeing my February sample box, I made the video, I tried to upload it, and it like canceled itself one time, so I tried it again, and I go back to check it, and the page just disappeared. I mean, I probably tried like four times, and it didn't work, so I just felt that there was something saying not to do it. Something in the force was saying that this video was not supposed to get uploaded. So, unfortunately, February didn't happen. I'm going to try for March. But enough of that. That's not why we are here today. Let's add a little bit of juice to this. Paint it on. And get that work basically stuck in there. This is like pasting. Okay, now that our wick is on there, you can see it just goes around in a circle. We have Vapor. Oh, and she's she's definitely vaping, ladies and gentlemen. This is definitely a nice build, but this is where I was saying as a con, you gotta always, you know, every couple of pulls off of this thing, you gotta keep painting it on. Well, I like to paint it. When we get back to FaceTime, I'll go over that. We've done a lot on this dive down. So, like so, once that's painted on there like that, you just take your top cap, slowly drop it there, and screw it on. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Now that we've gone over all this, why don't we take it on back out to FaceTime and have us a vape? Okay, welcome back up to FaceTime. Thank you for tolerating my video. I know I, uh... Spent a little time on the dive down, but uh, it's a very interesting RDA. It definitely is. It's not your normal three post velocity. You don't see this at all. Normally, you'll see a three post or even, you know, uh, a three post with a block center post. That's 
there's variety like that that you commonly see. This is very different, okay? Let's take a quick vape and see how she performs. It is good. It's a it's a throat hit. Definitely a, a throat hit. A bit restrictive. Just a bit. Um could be better, could be worse. I know it's the clone version, so I the the normal might just be a bit more. I know with a clone though, they try to replicate it best as possible. So my authentic doesn't have the adjustment ring. So I can't really give you an answer. Plus, it has two other airflow holes drilled to it. It's it's not legit. You know, again, why I didn't review that. It's just not legitimate. It's not fair because it's not it's not the original. And I would be giving you a botched up review. So let's take another vape. Flavor is not too bad. Um, most of the time with a competition, it's about blowing them clouds for the comp. Surprisingly, this has got a bit more flavor to it. Um, so for competition, it does perform. And you do get some flavor. Like I said, there's a nice throat hit. And it's got better flavor than I anticipated for sure. Okay. But this would be how I would have normally, when I started, I always constantly would unscrew. You know, and there, you know, it messes up the cotton. It throws it all out of whack. You got to readjust it again. And this is how, from day one, I always did this. Every time I needed to drip. Cap came off. You know, and, and from turning left, that's why it takes the cotton and throws it around. Okay. I got the cotton fixed. We'll, uh, okay. Once that's on there, this is how it's marketed to work. Okay, you just... And you've seen how my wicks, they wrapped all the way around. So even though there's coils missing, you just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Should be good. I haven't necessarily had a leaking problem, but it's not, there's nothing to prevent it from. If I over dripped, it's going to go right out of the airflow and down into this section where it's just going to leak out. I mean, I know you don't see the holes or nothing like that, but it definitely has room too. I haven't had that issue. Though. I've never had a leaking problem. So maybe there is something preventing it. Okay. Let's have another vape. It is, it's, it's well performing, um, pros and cons, pros, it's, it's a unique device, it's a unique RDA, the four post, it gives you such room for options, so you can, four, four coils, or your quad coils, or single coil, or dual coil, there's so much room for options on this, all right? Other pros, the airflow going straight up underneath the wick is fantastic. That's a great feature. Okay. The juice channel or the, the you know, the thing that the Teflon piece for one that's made of Teflon, that's a pro. And so that way you don't have to keep unscrewing the cap. You can just drip it and it channels the juice where it needs to go. That's a pro that they put that on there because as I showed you when, you know, any coil, say you put quad coil, anything. When you unscrew it, it then throws your cotton in the opposite direction and it's throwing it, you know, it's chopping it all out of there. So it's nice to know that I don't have to take the cap off every time and I can just drip in there. But now if we go into some cons, there's no juice well. 
I find that so unfortunate. But again, it's it's marketed as a competition RDA. So you know, at a competition, you're not there for flavor and how long you can vape without dripping. You're there to blow some clouds. So, you know, marketed as competition, you're going to go to your competition. You're going to chuck a monster ass cloud and then just drip a couple drops, chuck a monster ass cloud. You're only there for a hit or two doing a competition. You know, it's not sitting there and who can vape the longest to whose clouds can be the biggest. So, I'm really not sure how the aerodynamics work without that juice well. If maybe it channels air better, there's less space without that juice well. So, maybe they eliminated that to give it better aerodynamics for better clouds. I'm really not sure. I'm, you know, I, I'm really not even sure how to test that since there's no juice. There's none of them with the juice well to see if there's a difference. But that could be where they were coming from with it, okay? Another con is it's a little bit too restrictive. Back to a pro, the airflow adjustment is pretty unique. Okay, there's no holes in the sides. There's no, you know, airflow adjustment holes. It's, it's all, and they call it seamless. I mean, you do see the airflow ring, but at the same time, it's, it, it is, in a sense, seamless. You don't know that that's what that is. You don't know that that's what's there. You don't see any airflow holes. You can't look at this and say, this is the airflow. It goes in, the air goes here, here. Unless you own it and you know, then you know. You know, at a distance, you don't really know. You don't see it. It's, it's like a hidden feature. It's really cool. Another pro sense to it, the fact that you can adjust it to minimum, medium, largest. And that's adjusted two coils. So if you're only doing a single coil, you can adjust it to the minimum, go back to the large, therefore, and there, you know, so on and so on. So without rambling on too much more, guys, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some insight to this geyser RDA by Dark Ronin. Where you can find this is at vaporDNA.com. I will put a link in the description. Okay. It is marketed as the authentic $139.99. It is a bit expensive, but the clone, I think I got it for less than $20. So your choice, if you are interested in it, you can get the clone or the authentic. The authentic is worth the money. There is difference. It's built bulkier. It's built beefier. You get what you pay for. Now the scenario, if my wife was to come home pissed off, raging, smashed all my vape shit and I had to start over tomorrow, would I go out and specifically search for this? I would wait. It is cool, but I'm not a big competition person. I would hold off. If I, it was a rainy day later on in the in the distance and I was, you know, bored looking for something, I would pro I would probably repurchase it, but it would not be my first choice there's definitely other better bigger better things out there that i would go for okay i hope you enjoyed the video guys please make sure to comment like and subscribe there will be more to come let me know if you want to see a build tutorial on this okay and as always this is don for eastern ct vapor and remember vape on